So OpenAI just released a major update yesterday to ChatGPT, and this is called task scheduling. And in this quick video, I'm gonna explain what this new task scheduling update is, and also provide some real world use cases of how you can set up tasks to automate things inside ChatGPT. So be sure to stick around for the entire video. And if this is your first time to the channel, welcome. My name is Ryan, and my mission is to help you navigate the overwhelming world of artificial intelligence. And if you want to know my favorite AI tools and prompts that I use for marketing and content creation, be sure to get my free AI marketing essentials guide. You can find the link for this below this video. So what is this new task scheduling update inside ChatGPT and who all has access to it? Well, the first thing I'd recommend you do is come to this tweet from OpenAI. I'll leave this in the description below and they briefly describe what it is with a quick little demo video. So they say here, whether it's one-time reminders or reoccurring actions, you can now tell ChatGPT what you need and when as it will automatically take care of it. You can set reoccurring automation prompts using this new feature. And when it comes to access down here, they say task is rolling out today to plus pro and team users in beta. So that's important. It's still in beta mode and eventually to everyone with a chat GPT account. So right now, if I pull up my chat GPT plus account and I click the models drop down, I notice something new here, GPT 4.0 with scheduled tasks. Again, I am a member of plus. So if you're on plus pro teams or enterprise, you should be able to start using the beta version of this task update right now. If you're using the free version of chat GPT, you're going to have to wait a little longer. I'm not sure when they're going to roll this out to everyone. So let's run some quick real world examples of what this new task scheduling update is and why you would even use it. So you'll see right here, I've selected this new model GPT 4.0 with scheduled tasks, and I'm going to prompt chat GPT with the following, make a task that provides the most important AI news each morning at 8 a.m. Use a maximum of five bullet points and a one sentence blurb for each piece of news, right? This is very important as I am in the AI space, I have a YouTube channel. So it's important that I stay up to date on what's going on. And so here is my new task right here, get AI news daily at 8 a.m. And if I click this three dots here, I can edit this task and this pulls up a new menu here. So I can rename it if I want to do that. I can set new instructions if I want to do that as well. I can also change the frequency. Let's say I want it once a week. So I could do it every Friday at 8 a.m. This is actually perfect as a part of my weekly email newsletter. I talk about AI news. So this would be a great way to just compile all the different news you using search GPT by having this automated task set up versus me manually doing it every time. And then I'll click save and you can come in here and pause it and delete it and things like that. But another use case you could do is the weather. So I'm gonna copy and paste this prompt that I had ready here, come back to chat GPT. Now I'm asking for a task to make, give me weather updates. Give me an update of the weather forecast in Des Moines, Iowa. I also said emphasize if snow or ice is in the forecast as that's a big thing here in the Midwest. So here's my no another reminder or a task that I just created, check weekly Des Moines weather. And again, if I click edit, I can do this every Monday at 8 a.m. I can always come in here and edit the instructions for any task that I want to. I can edit the name, etc. So let's say you don't care about the news or the weekly weather forecast. Here's a couple other real world examples you can use this task scheduling for. Let's say you're always scouring uh, the price of a certain asset, like a stock or Bitcoin, for instance. I can set up a task like this. Search for the price of Bitcoin and notify me when the price drops below $80,000 or not. It's been pretty high, floating around 100 grand right now, so I'm always looking to pounce when something like, Bit like Bitcoin dips, excuse me. And so this would be a great instance of setting up an automatic task. You can also do something like this. I run a YouTube channel focusing on AI and marketing. Provide a bullet list of three content ideas every morning on what is trending right now. So that's another great idea if you're a content creator and you're always looking for fresh new ideas that are trending. Now, again, this can get overkill. You don't want to set up too many tasks and notifications and daily reminders. That can get very overwhelming. But now what I recommend you do is I'm going to show you how you can actually manage these tasks. So if you click your profile icon, you should notice a new option here that says tasks. And here are the four tasks that I just created in this video for you. Here's the Bitcoin price, the get content ideas, AI news, weekly weather. And again, you can come in here and edit each task. You can pause it, delete it. What I actually discovered is you can only do up to 10 tasks at a time right now. So I had 10, it wouldn't let me create another one. So I had to come and delete it. So that's an important point that I think I should mention.
Now this is all great, but let's say for instance, you wanna start using these new tasks, but you have no idea how to get started or even what tasks you should create. So what I'm going to do is open up a new chat and then I'm going to prompt ChatGPT with the following. You can copy and use this same prompt. I'll leave it in the description below. But all I did was ask this. I want you to help me create tasks that will help grow my YouTube channel, right? Very relevant for what I'm trying to accomplish here. For context, I run a YouTube channel focusing on AI, tutorials, reviews, news, and more. What tasks should I do on a daily basis to help grow my channel and make more money? So here it's giving me all sorts of task ideas, right? Daily content creation tasks, research trending topics, similar to the very first task that I created about researching AI news or researching new content ideas, audience engagement tasks, replying to comments. I could set up a reminder to reply to comments, interact on other channels, community posts. I could set up a task where it automatically creates social media captions or other posts for different mediums. Analytics review. I could set up a reminder to review analytics. I could set up tasks related to monetization, marketing and outreach, content planning, et cetera, et cetera, right? This really just should snap the writer's block and kind of get the juices flowing if you have no idea what to even set up, but you want to start using tasks to help automate things. Now, something else that's important to mention regarding this new task update inside ChatGPT is that Sam Altman came out with this Reflections blog post towards the end of 2024. And what really caught my eye was when he started talking about AI agents right here. He said, we are now confident we know how to build AGI as we understood it. But here's the important thing. He says, we believe that in 2025, we may see the first AI agents join the workforce and materially change the output of companies. Now, why am I bringing this up? Well, in my opinion, this may be the very first iteration of AI agents. Now, is this going to change the world? Is this task scheduling update uh, going to change the world, going to change everything we know about AI right now? Probably not. But this could be the first iteration of AI agents. And I'm assuming OpenAI has a ton of things planned. They're probably working on a lot of things involving AI agents behind the scenes. And this may be the very first update that we've seen of what's to come from them. Now, for more details on this new chat GPT update of scheduling tasks, I'd recommend looking at this help documentation from OpenAI. They have some good general information. They have some more use cases you can do. They show you how to set up a task using step-by-step -step screenshots. So I'll be sure to leave this in the video description below. But if you've made it this far into the video, first of all, I appreciate you. I also wanna know what you have to say about this new task scheduling update from chat GPT. Do you think this is a big deal? Are you gonna start using this for various tasks. I want to hear your thoughts in the comments below. And if you found value in this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you guys appreciate all the work that I put into these videos for you. But most importantly, I hope you all have a great day.